Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use the PMT function or the payment function. Basically this is one of those financial functions that are used in Excel to determine a payment on a loan. So there's some variables or arguments that you need to enter in. So let's go ahead and just go through the PMT function. So I'm just going to go in cell A1 here and type equal PMT and you can see that the tip here has come up. I'm going to go and press open parentheses and there are a couple arguments that we need to enter here. So the rate is the interest rate. Let's say for example we are getting a mortgage loan and the rate of interest that we are getting is maybe 3%. So I would have to type in uh, 0 0.3 oops, 0 .03 and if we are assuming that we are going to pay monthly I have to also assume that this rate we need to divide it by 12 because this is this 3% is an annual rate so we need to divide that by 12 for the monthly rate that's what we're trying to get is a monthly payment now the next thing the next argument you need, we need to consider is the number of periods this n per so the number of periods let's say that for example we're going to get a 30 year loan but of course we have to uh, take this, it take into account that it's going to be a payment from um, for a monthly payment so we would have to do 30 times 12 and after that what we want to do is we have this PV which is the present value so what is the loan amount if we're taking out a mortgage what is the mortgage loan amount that we're going to take out so let's just put in 300,000 and then the future value is going to be zero because by the end of our term we want that future value to be nothing we want to we want it to be paid off. And the next value, or the last value, is a type. So this indicates if the, if the payments are done at the beginning of the period or the end of the period. And if we leave that out, oops, if we leave that out, it's going to be zero. So zero indicates the end of the period, and one indicates the beginning of the period. And in our example, I'm just going to leave it out and assume it's going to be the end of the period. So if I close parentheses and press enter, this is going to be our loan amount, or excuse me, our loan payment that we have to pay the bank every month. So instead of doing this, what and you, if you have uh, situations where you like to kind of test it, you can instead put the arguments in a column here and put it here and put the payment here, and instead of typing in each of the values each time you can just change one of the cells here. So let's say for example we had our rate. Let's do our rate again and we can say it's 3%. And we'll have this cell do the calculations per month. So we're going to in this cell we're going to say equals that divided by 12. All right, so it's going to give us our monthly rate. The period we're going to say here is 30 years. And in this cell, we're going to extrapolate that 30 years into months. So we're going to say equals this 30 times 12. Present value. Let's go stick with our present value in the other in the other tab, 300,000. And our future value, we want that to be zero. And our type, we're going to have zero. So now, whoops. So now in our payment, this is where we're going to enter our formula. But instead of typing the numbers in the function here, we're just going to type in the cells that reference it. So when we change something here, it automatically changes here. We don't have to uh, mess around with the formula here. So we're going to say payment and then our rate, which is going to be this monthly rate. Our number of periods is going to be this cell here. And then our present value is going to be this cell. Our future value would be uh, this cell B6. And then our type here, this tip came up now. Our type is going to be zero. Close parentheses, press enter. You can see this value is the same as this value. So the beauty with having it reference other cells instead of having hard coded in is when you want to play around with the number, let's say for example, we got a three point or two point seven five percent loan and it automatically changes that and you have your payment changed here. So you can change it here, it's a little bit easier to change visually when you're looking at it than just keep going through here and changing it. 
So that is how you use the payment function, the PMT function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.